We'll leave the magnetic switch off of the aerometer until we get a dry indication. Right now, after five days, we're still reading just a tad above zero. So we're still pretty saturated and I can feel it in the soil. But like I said, these uh, echo grower pots have a little reservoir in the bottom so it takes a while for these to dry out, which is a good thing. And what we'll do as we're waiting for these things to require moisture is set up a uh, reservoir, a pump, and a control pump controller that can be actuated from the magnetic switch on this aerometer. So here's what I've devised for the automatic irrigation setup. First of course is the automatic uh, the magnetic switch aerometer and right now it's at 20 so it's probably just about ready to water. Now first of all if you don't know anything about electricity, get a qualified electrician to build this stuff. You can buy 24 volt systems uh, that will operate a 110 volt pump. So if you don't know what you're doing, don't mess with electricity. So what we have is a relay block and a 24 volt coil relay. This is actually a double pole setup, so I can put these poles in parallel. They're about 10 amp rated, so they're plenty big enough for a small submersible pump. Then, of course, you have a 110 volt to 24 volt step down transformer. Now, all this equipment is going to be enclosed in this watertight case before use, but I just want to show you how it operates. So we've reached the crossroads between moist and dry. We're at about 34 as far as vacuum. So I think we'll set it to go about then. The plant still looks okay, but it's going to be real hungry for moisture pretty soon. So we'll set that to go right now. So we're approaching the set point. And there you go. Pump is started. And we'll see where we are. Now you'll recall from the uh, Echo Brewer video how this setup works. The strainer, the pressure controller, and the outlet to the uh, emitters. Now each emitter is a two, two gallon per hour emitter. So this is filling the reservoir and creating capillary action up through the soil. This will stop when the aerometer reaches beyond the set point. In other words, when the soil starts becoming saturated again, the aerometer will cause it to relay to shut off. So when the aerometer goes below the set point, in other words, when the soil starts getting more saturated, it will cause the relay, the pump control relay, to shut off. And it will wait to operate when the soil is dry. And here we go. Getting ready to saturate. And the pump is now shut off. The soil is now basically saturated. This whole process for these uh, three gallon pots took about 20 minutes. So there you have it. You can add as many pots as you have water capacity. So the larger the tank you have, the more pots you can add. You can also use a standard 24 volt relay and control system that you can purchase and a hose end adapter to operate on city water pressure. So I hope you learned something from this. It was short and sweet, but watch the other videos on the Echo Grower 
system and you'll see the whole entire setup.